Hi there, welcome. We're starting a new project. Um, this one we're going to call the Old English House because they have an Old English uh, puppy dog. But um, it's this was a real challenge for me from a design standpoint because of the location of the stairs. And so it really kind of restricted me from trying to uh, expand their kitchen and make it a lot nicer. So this is, we're, I'm standing in the entry right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually get rid of this coat closet right here that you see. And then the railing, we're going to redo all the railing, all new railing, and then the railing will go over that way. So, so it'll open things up a lot. Plus, we're also getting rid of these two walls right here as well. Because this, oh, this entry is really kind of cramped and closed in. So we're going to get rid of this wall and this wall and that coat closet and it'll really open things up. In the family room here, we're rearranging things in here. This, all of this is coming out, and then we're gonna actually shift the fireplace over a little bit and do an electric fireplace. We're getting, this is just a wood burning fireplace, so we're just gonna abandon that. And then we're gonna do an electric fireplace, kind of shift it over a little bit so we can get cabinets on both sides, an entertainment center area on both sides. And they're gonna do an electric fireplace. I seem to be doing a lot more electric fireplaces these days. And this house is also old enough that the lighting is really weird. You know, like in big rooms like this, they didn't put lights in, they put plugs on switches so you could put lamps on them. So we'll be adding can lights everywhere in this house. This house is pretty dark. And um, so with all the can lights, it's gonna be a total different feel here. So in here, this is gonna be where they're gonna put their dining table now. Uh, and again, this wall is coming out from about somewhere about here over. And then we're taking this wall out too, so we can expand the kitchen over to this window. And then, then their dining table will go right here. So this is a, your very classic galley kitchen. They've lived with this kitchen for a lot of years, and it's pretty small. And so I really, like I said earlier, I really struggled with how to design this space um, in fact I had to step away from it because I just couldn't figure it out but after when I went back to it it all just fell into place so what we're doing again we're taking that wall out that's that we just walked through and the kitchen and um, we're going to do a cooktop here and we're still and of course we'll make the cabinets all go to the ceiling and everything but we're moving the dining table back over that way and I'm making this all kitchen space. There's gonna be a broom closet, cabinet, and then double ovens right here, and a microwave, and then that's all gonna be counter space with upper cabinets. And so it's just gonna make this kitchen really super nice, kind of an L-shaped kitchen, but again, because the stairway is right behind this range right here, and there was just nothing I could do Otherwise, to make the kitchen like wider or bigger without a lot of expense and moving a stairway. And stairways are so difficult to move, if not impossible. We're also remodeling, the, re redoing all the flooring. She's actually been working on picking out some stuff. This is, this is going to be a tile floor for the bathroom, which I'll show you in a second. It's a marble. And then this is an aqua guard laminate floor, really beautiful floor. And then this is the, for the tub shower surround. And then we're going to cut this in half and use this as an accent stripe in the tub shower surround. So let me show you the um, bathroom too. So this is your pre pretty typical bathroom, right? You have a vanity, toilet, and it's a tub shower over here. And of course, we're going to be putting in a new valve and a new tub and new surround. And let me show you. Um, this is pretty typical that tub surrounds only go up that high. And you can see the shower head's not even in the tub surround over there. What I always do, I always take the top to the ceiling. And we always put the um, shower head a little taller than what they used to do back in the day. So anyway, so we're redoing this all new tile floor, new vanity, new toilet, new tub. So we're excited to get this project started. We actually started here in a few days next week. And um, it'll be fun to show you the progress as, this, as we open the walls up and move stuff around. Thanks for watching. So we've got made quite a bit of progress here. We've got all the demo done, of course, um, but now we're in the process. Uh, all the electrical is done, 
any HVAC stuff is done, plumbing stuff is done. So now we're, we actually have the sheetrock guy here. I, had to have, I asked him to step out for a minute while we filmed this video. So we added the fireplace. We had to move it a little bit, so we had more cabinet space on that side. And then um, this is an electric fireplace, not a gas one, but it still puts out heat. And we ran 220 to it, so it runs efficiently as well. It will be pretty inexpensive to operate. And then we added all these can lights that you see on the ceiling. So tons of can lights in here to decorate this or to light up this space with. Um, so if you remember, there was a wall that came across right here. If you look up here on the ceiling, you can kind of see where the wall used to be because they're piecing in the sheetrock where it was. And so we've taken all of that out. Plus there is a wall here that went all the way across right here. You can kind of see it up there. We have some plastic on it until they get the drywall on to keep the um, insulation up in the attic from falling down in here. But uh, so amazing. It's amazing how much more open this, this area is than what it used to be. And so now we're gonna, um, we're gonna replace all the railing. This, this was part of a temporary wall. And the railing used to come over here and it used to just kind of dive past this wall. It was really weird. So we're putting a new railing that comes around here. And we had to extend this wall a little bit so that the railing would dive into it. So we're waiting to take the railing off until the drywall guy is done. And then we'll get the new guy to come in and do his railing before we actually do the floor. So let me take you in the kitchen and kind of show you what's going on in here. So... One of the things we try to do for our customers is try and keep some of their uh, appliances and stuff up and working. So you can see the range is still plugged in and available and it's still plugged in down there. And so we still have the range that they can cook with. They still have their sink. We can only leave the sink in temporary if, if they're for mica countertops, because then we can just take and cut down the sides and leave the sink here for them to work with. And you can see they, they're still using the sink to cook with. Looks like we left the dishwasher for them as well. So the new stove and everything's going here, but the whole kitchen is expanding into this space. And so the fridge is going to go right here. And um, actually the fridge is going to go right here. There's a cabinet going right there. Double ovens are going right here. And then we have some countertop space that's going around this way. So we've got all the electrical is done. You can see we've added a whole bunch more can lights on the ceiling so there's going to be lots of light in this space and then the other thing that we're doing is we're remodeling the main bathroom so we've had to do quite a bit to get to update this bathroom we haven't really moved anything around but we're doing new new lighting we put a can light over the fridge um, or over the tub we put a new tub in and we're added a new bath fan so it'll be a lot nicer. You can see there's all these different layers of flooring that used to be here. So we have, so we're still kind of working on that. Usually we leave the toilet in for, till we absolutely have to take it out so that the guys can use it while they're here working. So we'll keep you updated on the progress, but we're starting to get this project moving pretty quick. Okay, I have a lot to show you. We've done a whole bunch of work since our last segment. Um, but I do want to tell you that we're trying out a new gimbal today. So if the picture goes wonky that's because we're trying to figure out how to use this new gimbal but i want to start out here on the front porch because we replaced this door we put this new door in. it's really cool it has the black leading in it um for this for the stained glass and so it's a beautiful door it turned out really nice so we just installed this and then let me take you inside and i'll show you all the cool stuff we've got done so far it's a mess inside because we have a lot going on So you can see we've done the, uh, we've put the floor in. So we've got all new flooring in down here. This is a nice laminate floor. This is actually the third time we've installed this style and this color in a, in a house, a kitchen remodel. And then you can see over here that we've got the cab, the cabinets are all going in. R right now we have our cabinet guys here and our finished carpenters. I've had to ask them to take a five minute break <laughs> while we, while we shoot this segment. But that's the entertainment center, the electric fireplace. That whole bump out in between is going to be covered with shift lap. And then you have cabinets that will be sitting on top of these base cabinets. This uh, this wood that you see here, this is the, the mantle that's going to go in. And then this is the countertop 
on, that will be on top of these cabinets. And so um, now let's walk, let's show the kitchen. The kitchen's amazing. So what a difference this kitchen is, um, because before it was just a galley kitchen. There was a wall across right here. So there's this wall across right here, and the kitchen ended right here. So it's what we call a galley kitchen because it just has cabinets down each side. And so we still have that, but we've expanded the kitchen into this dining area, and now the dining nook is going to be over on that side or the space where they'll have their table. So we've put a vent in right here because it's going to be a vented hood, a decorative hood's going in right here, and then the cooktop is going to go in right here. And um, and then, so we've expanded the cabinets all over into here. So she's got a broom cabinet. This is going to be double ovens right here. And this is that white shaker style, all painted. My cabinet guy does a really nice job. These finishes are amazing. And so, um, take you around here. We re redid, redid the railing. Remember, there just to be some really crappy railing right here. And so we've redone all of this railing. This is a wrought iron rail. And then this is alder. The wood is alder. We have the square newels, and uh, it just looks so much nicer. If you remember, there was all a whole bunch of walls over there, a coat closet over there. We've gotten rid of all of that and made this pretty nice. She had us put an outlet in right here because she likes to decorate the railing uh, for the holidays. And so so be, there's an outlet down there she can plug in and have uh, LED lights on her railing for the holidays. Um, this house has really old-fashioned moldings on it. And we were having to replace all the baseboards uh, because of the new floor. And I talked her into letting me replace all the molding. So we're just in the process of doing that. We're going to have a header up here. And then we're doing the craftsman molding. So it's all a flat molding and the baseboard's all flat. And so it'll look really cool. Um, down the hallway here, we just, all we're really doing down the hallway is the laminate. And then we're replacing the casing on all of these doors. We're actually replacing this door right here because you see it's, somebody got mad and it's busted. And so, um, not not really anything going on in the bathroom right now. Um, uh, we're waiting for some tile to come in. The tile that she wanted it wasn't in stock, and so we had to order it. But I'll bet you're pretty shocked. This is pretty amazing, right? This is uh, this has turned out really really wonderful, and I can't wait to get it finished. We're on home stretch. Um, you can see we haven't painted yet, but. I have to put the laminate floor in right after sheetrock because we have to put the baseboard on top of it. And so I don't usually paint until after all the cabinets are installed. Usually the tile work is done. And so right now they've already measured for the countertops. So while we're wrapping this up and getting ready to paint and everything, they're making the countertops. So when we're done um, with the paint, we're ready to put the countertops in, backsplash, and just finish this project. And so... So it seems kind of weird to, to put all the cabinets in before we paint, but it works great. It, it really does help. Usually saves me about two weeks on completion time for a project if I do cabinets before we paint. So there's your update on this one. We'll show you. It'll probably be finished when we show you in our next video. Okay. I'm so excited to show you the old English house. It's all done. And it has turned out wonderfully amazing. So why don't you come in with me? Let's go take a look. I'm sure excited to show this to you because I think it turned out really awesome. So again, remember we replaced, replaced this door. It wasn't in the original bid, but I talked to the homeowner while we were doing the project and said, you know, with everything that we're doing, we probably should replace this front door because it had been painted 40 times and it just didn't look that great. So. We used the same storm door, we put it back on, but then we painted this, I love this color. This is a really cool color. Kind of a little light blue, powder blue, teal color, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Looks great. Okay, so here's the family room. And doesn't this look awesome? The family room turned out really, really nice. We did have a problem when we were putting this together that we, we hadn't left enough space here between the two cabinets for their TV. And so we had to actually modify this space, shift everything over, 
We put those those cabinets. We didn't have to change the cabinets or anything, so we kept these here, and we just made this space wider and shifted the fireplace over about a foot. So we picked up a foot of space so that their TV would fit. And this mantle is a white oak mantle that's stained, and we did the same thing with the countertops. And then we have an outlet right here. I'm not sure what this is for, but this the, we put an outlet up here on most of our mantles so you can put Christmas decorations and other holiday decorations up here that are lit. So that turned out really nice. So anyways, you remember, how, see how open this is over here? Isn't it, isn't it beautiful how open this is? If you remember from the first part of the video, there was a wall that came over here and then came over here. There was a coat closet right here and then a wall right there. And so we took all of that out and look how open and beautiful this space is. So we have the kitchen. Let's show you the kitchen. Um, this kitchen is amazing. I, I, uh, when I was first trying to design this kitchen space, I really had a hard time with it. I had a hard time coming up with a way to make this kitchen nice because all of this kitchen used to be was this space you see right here. And that was it. And it ended right here. And um, I, actually, I actually had to step away from it for a couple of weeks and then come back and that's when it hit me what I needed to do because the dining area used to be right here and so I moved the dining area over as part of the family room and that opened this whole area up for me to do um, all the kitchen cabinets that we did in here so now instead of having a little teeny kitchen it's a beautiful kitchen with lots of storage space and lots of counter space we put the microwave in right here. This is a built-in microwave that went right here. And, and excuse me, we also have the Lazy Susan in the upper cabinet. Have you ever seen that before? That's pretty cool, huh? Instead of just having one in the lower cabinet, we also have one in the upper cabinet. And that makes it really nice. And so I think the homeowner did a wonderful job putting all the colors and everything together. This is the third time we've used this floor in, in a kitchen remodel. And it's an aqua guard uh, floor from floor and decor. I don't remember the name of it, but if you want to know, message us and we'll let you know. But um, I think the tile and the countertops and the handles and everything, it looks wonderfully nice together. And then I wanted to show you this hood right here. This is a deco hood, kind of simple, modern looking, but it looks beautiful. This is that white oak again. And then you have this beautiful counter um, cooktop right here. And it's an induction cooktop. The brand is Frigidaire. And then up here is a built-in fan, exhaust fan. And it's vented through the roof. And it has lots of suction to it. And it also has, I don't even know where the lights are. There they are. So it has LED lights on it. It's really fairly inexpensive for how nice it is. I think these things are about $350, $400. So anyways, now... We also did the stairs, stair railings, and the hall bathroom. So we replaced the railings before. This was a really yucky railing that came over and ended right here because there was a coat closet right here. And it was kind of rickety, and so we replaced it. This is the design that she picked out. This is wrought iron and alder. The wood is alder. And the stain looks really good with the floor. And then in the hallway here, while we were doing her project, we were replacing all the baseboards and we had to replace this door because it was broken. So we had to do new casing around this door. And she had that old colonial casing. And so I talked to her and I, I gave her a price and said, hey, why don't you let me put new casing on all these doors and, and headers in the craftsman style, which is kind of what the kitchen is and everything. And so, so she agreed to let me do that. And so we put all new casing on the doors, and we even did the windows. I'll show you those in a second, but come check out this bathroom. See how cool this bathroom turned out. So this is a marble on the floor, and this is one of those ready-made vanities that you buy that comes with the countertop and the sink built in. And it only came with a backsplash for the back portion of the vanity, and she wanted backsplash on this left side, and so she wanted to do the same deco tile we did in the shower. See how nice this shower turned out? And so this deco tile that we did in the shower, she wanted to use it for the backsplash. 
So because my tile guy was busy and he was already gone, I actually did this tile work myself for her. And I think it's a, it's a nice addition. It goes well with the bathroom and the vanity. So anyways, totally redid this bathroom. We didn't really rearrange anything or change anything. We just upgraded everything. Um, I'm going to show you the window still. So if you want a window that looks like it's jammed and cased, jam would be this part, and then the casing is this part. Um, but you don't want to spend the money on that. There's a less expensive way to do it. And even though it doesn't look like it, this portion, the jam portion, is sheetrock. This is just the sheetrock that like you probably have around your window right now. So all we did was add the casing and the header and a new window sill, and then we painted it all white so it all looks like it's jammed in case. We kind of call it, a, it's a little cheesy, but we call it a poor man's case window <laughs> because you don't, you're not spending the time and the money on the jam, just the casing. And it's fairly easy to do. So we did this window, and we did this big window here in the family room as well. We did the same thing. And see how it all ties in with the header, the trim around the doors has the header on it and everything, so it all ties in really nice. So we're really grateful for the opportunity we had to do this project. And um, this customer is a referral from another one of our customers that we did a kitchen remodel on. And then they've also given us a referral for another customer that we're doing a patio cover for. So seems like people are liking the work that we do. We have fun doing what we do. And we do a good job at it. Sometimes it takes us a little longer. This project took longer than it was intended to, but we've also been dealing with a lot of supply and labor issues and try, it's really been hard to get some things done. But we're grateful to have it done and this customer has been really super great to work with and we appreciate them allowing us to do this work for them. We're grateful for you for taking the time to watch this kitchen transform and to what it is now. And so thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, please hit the like button down below. And then also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you subscribe and hit the little bell so that way we can notify you whenever we post a new video of a transformation of a project. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate you taking the time. Have a great day.